Okay, welcome friends, Team Lips ladies to our new Coach Camp Zoom for the 7th of August. So I actually don't think we have too many questions. We'll take questions as we, as we go, but um, I just wanted to kind of go over a few things. A um, couple new ladies to new Coach Camp, so we'll kind of review sort of what your job is when you're in new coach camp and what you can expect and where you should be looking and then just kind of go over some team cup stuff and i'm always open for questions and i literally got home 15 minutes ago <laughs> so i don't have a lot of formal stuff prepared so um but here's what i kind of wanted to go over just for the, for the new ladies bear with me we're going to go into the Facebook page. No, so this would be for Heather and Jamie. And I, we, I'm sure we talked about it when I put you in new coach camp, but just a reminder, we have the file section over to the left and the photo albums. Those are two important places for you to use as resources uh, while you're in new coach camp. The file section, we all should now know where the stuff is at because you were directed here for our team cup stuff. If you ever need more knowledge to gain, like those of you that have been in New Coach Camp longer and you want to go back, all of our New Coach recordings, at least to the best of our ability <laughs> and, and remembering, are in the New Coach Camp recordings. And if you, you can kind of look there and see, um, like let's say, you know, you, you want to reminder about how to invite to a challenge group or on the 11th we talked about instagram so if you wanted to add to your knowledge this is another place you can pursue knowledge when you've gone all the way through the academy okay so there's there is that let me get out of here okay um, the win the week and the go for no those are the activities that we're doing as a team um, for the team cup. Well, my team is doing win the week and go for no. And I think Sharice's is also, Allison's is doing a free group, but, um, and I think Lori's is also, but the go for no, I was kind of just reviewing with, um, Heather is a very good, uh, way when we were at summit, we we talked to Darren Hardy, listened to Darren Hardy, and heard him telling us if you want to increase your rate of success, you need to double your rate of failure. And so going for no is really just to sort of push you to look for having enough conversations to get to a hundred no's quicker, because you'll increase your rate of the number of yeses that you get. And honestly, the more no's you hear, the less um, they bother you. I will tell you that from experience. Um, and then make sure you are have your win the week printed off because within and among the different groups that we're having, we're having a little contest because the behaviors that you see on that win the week, those really are the vital behaviors for being successful as a coach. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about those simple things a little bit later on. Okay, so, and there's a lot of good resources here. There's some of us have gotten our notes in here from Summit. There's um, some of the past Zooms that we've done, like I talked about Performance Line. We did a thing on Boost, three-day refresh. So there's a lot of knowledge here that you can gain by looking at some of the stuff that we've shared um, on our past calls. Um, then, then the other thing that I just want to go over is in the photo section, the we have... Um, album. The album here, the one that you guys need to pay attention to is this one called New Coach Camp because this has all of the information and the requirements that you need to know about. For example, well, how long are you in New Coach Camp, right? You're here because you went through your quick start and we did the, the seven-day quick start, all you're getting started right calls. Now you're going to be in New Coach Camp. It's usually about six weeks and sometimes it can be longer. You have to get all the way through your inviting tab. You have to be all the way through your challenge group tab. You have to have run a challenge group. You have to hit success club. Do you have to be Emerald? I think you have to be. Somebody tell me. Yes, because I'm still in here. <laughs> because you're not Emerald. 
No, okay. I'm not in Emerald, so yeah. Okay, so you have to be Emerald. Okay, and then, um, and then when you're finished with all of those, you graduate and you go into Business Builders, which is where a couple others of us, um, Amy's still in there, my Ashley's in there, um, and a few others. After you graduate from Business Builders, you become a leader, a Team Thrive leader, but you have to be a diamond coach to be part of that group. So the, the bottom line is you have to be working your business. If you decide at any time that it's all too much, we take you out, we have a conversation and we take you out of new coach camp. And, and you know, when you're ready to move your business forward and to work and to set goals, then you can enter back in at any time. So I think that's basically the part that I wanted to share with you guys about that. Questions so far? Nope, nope. Okay. Um, the other thing that I wanted to just remind everybody here, because this is um, such a busy time, <laughs> like I'm feeling the overwhelm myself with coming off of summit and then we're going on vacation and now it's back to school time. And it's so very easy to feel the overwhelm and to feel like you can't help everybody that you need to help and to feel like, you know, this is just too hard. And, and I just want everybody that's watching either this live or on a recording to know that all of us, including your leaders, feel that. Um, the only difference that keeps us moving forward is this, this drive to that and this, this why, this knowing that that this is bigger than us and it's all figure outable <laughs> and also um you know keep it simple and it's okay if you fail <laughs> and when i tell you guys these things you have to know that it comes from a place of i'm sharing it because i've been there feeling it i'm felt it i'm overcoming it it's just all part of the the coaching journey right so, and I'm a perfectionist. And when I feel like I'm letting people down, then it, I take that very hard. So what I need to remind myself all the time is keep it simple. And I think I have figured out a few things, even in the last, you know, few months where it's finally like you hear your people say these things to you over and over and over. And then finally one day you're like, Oh, <laughs> that's what she means when she says that. The first thing is you have to have a list. You, you have to have a list that you're working from. If you don't, um, you will flounder. You have to have a master list of people and you have to literally be adding to it all the time. It's not always possible for me to have an hour of time where I can devote to like a legitimate power hour. And for me, what I just want to show you is a few things that I have done lately um, kind of with my system where if all I have is 20 minutes, then, and, and I think Amy was sort of talking about this before too, how to like break up uh, what you're doing into little packets. So I'm sorry because some of you guys on my team saw this a little bit, but I just want to share a few things um, that are that are helpful. Um, so let me go back to to screen share. And so far, everybody's nice and the background is nice and quiet. So basically. Um, one area that I'm not that good at is scheduling time to work on my social media. But if I was working in a power hour, setting aside 15 or 20 or 30 minutes even to really study and look on Pinterest and get some brainstorm, some ideas and putting them all in an Evernote file or a Google document would be very, very beneficial and a, a very good habit that one should get into <laughs> um, if you have time to do that. For me, um, I kind of, I feel like I do, I know I can do better, but I feel like I post at least once a day, even if I'm on the fly, um, sharing my crazy busy life. But remember, you're adding value for every time you, you want to post. Um, the next thing that you want to do is each and every day you want to be adding to your list. Now that she shares you, how, you know, how to do a little bit of that in new coach camp. Um, but there's, um, 
it gets, it's easier when you're a newer coach and then your strategies for adding new people has to get a little more creative the longer you've been a coach. But I just wanted to make sure, um, so, you know, one strategy for adding new friends would be um, requesting to join different groups. Um, like Heather, maybe you could look for some Facebook groups with, um, you know, stay at home moms or stroller moms or, you know, something like that. Um, I've been part of a couple running groups. So you, you could, if you like to scrapbook, you could look for Facebook groups and kind of just look for new friends is that is one strategy you could use for, for meeting new friends and making new friends. Another way to find new friends, where am I at here, is to go into this find friends category. And this is something you should, it's, if you're tracking your activity, either on your business activity tracker or your power of threes, adding three new friends is something that you need to be doing. If you don't do it every day, you need to have that set number that you're adding every week. And what I found really helpful, a couple things here, if you, you, you can look for friends that maybe you went to high school with that you need to reconnect with. You can look for um, mutual, like, look, I can look for mutual friends of Heather Graff. That might not be a good idea because <laughs> I don't want to take people from her, but let's say, um, let's say Heather, you found somebody that you were working with that kind of became a customer of yours and you're maybe your first challenge pack that you sell. You could put the name of a woman in here um, that is somebody like you who you think may have friends like you and you can search for more people and this whole list of people comes up and you, you know, kind of scope them out a little bit and see what they look like. Even click on their Facebook page. And I was telling my, um, on our team call the other night, like I wouldn't send this person a friend request because she's got a mutual friend that includes Allison. So, so Allison's probably, you know, already invited her or should invite her. Um, so you kind of look for people like that is a, a very nice way um, to add people. And I would say, you know, cause for a long time I was like, how am I supposed to find new friends? And this was, this did work really well for a long time. So this method plus groups is how you can find new friends. The other thing that I love um, for my follow-ups or for actually, it's actually for connecting, right? So then after you add people, then you need to connect with people. And a really, really good way to do this is to use this function called friends list over here on the left what you can do here is create a list of people that the people who are on your list don't know that they're on your list so i made one for my coaches so if in my focus time instead of just scrolling i can click on coaches i can come in here and i can literally just scroll and like and love and see what my coaches are posting you can also do that for the relationship that you're trying to build, right? You want people to see that you're paying attention to them. To me, this was a huge, a huge buffer between sending a friend request, maybe sending that initial, hey, lady, I see we have some mutual friends. Thanks for accepting my friend request. Where did your kids go to school? Whatever. To then really starting to invest in developing that relationship and that friendship with them. So you, if you can, you can make a different list each week if you wanted to. I made, I just redid this one. Um, this is August future, future fit family, future fit family, I think is what I said. That's what F to the third power means. <laughs> so these are people who I want on my team in my challenge groups in the future. And you add them over here. They don't know you're on your, your list. And then when you sit down, you have to be on your computer. You can love all over these people and, and they feel that that way, when you get to the time when you're supposed to invite, you have been paying focused attention to them. So that would be like another, so spend 15 minutes, maybe looking for new people, spend 15 minutes in your lists, loving on your people, and then go into your email or your Facebook <clears throat> messenger and get to the follow-up conversations that you need to have. And at this point, the people that I'm following up with are people that I've invited and we're, and we're kind of talking through the limitations or the objections or that sort of thing. 
How does that sound? You, then you can kind of check in with your challengers in the, in the rest of the hour. So that's a, like a little bit of what a power hour could look like. Okay. Does that help? And yeah. Heather, I don't know if you heard that before. Heidi, does anybody have other things that they do during like a power hour or other strategies for, for, you know, like you can do the adding earlier in the day. You could do the, the fit future fit family in the middle of the day and then you could do your follow-ups at night and that might be a way that you break up your 60 minute power hour into you know 320 minutes how's that sound good very helpful yeah what else what other questions do we have i think that's all i wanted to talk to you guys about um Yes, new coach camp. You're inviting your learning your challenge groups. Win the week, go for no, and keep it simple. And just, just remember that you're all going to have the busy days where you have to just do the very basics. And on your busy days, you may give up a day in the academy, but don't give up on the other. Don't give up on, you know, showing up once. I have not done it yet, but I will post on social media in the next <laughs> hour, right? Like, and I also haven't, yeah, I haven't, I haven't had my power hour yet today, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to pick, like, let's say you have 20 to 30 minutes. If you had to pick like your top three things on a busy day, what would you do as your non-negotiables? Um, you have to show up on social media. You have to, uh, you have, I, it, right now I would say I, I would get in my future fit family list and at least to love on some people because they'll feel that, mm -hmm. um, that is a habit I'm even actually trying to get into more of now. Um, and then if there is someone who is ready to go like you are having an active conversation with them and you've um or you know you need to have a couple follow-up conversations um i would say that's probably where i would okay i would say honestly and i think a lot of coaches will admit to you the same thing for a long time and i still am struggling with it uh, it's way more comfortable for me to become very busy, being very busy, doing everything else that needs to happen. Um, the only thing that will move your business forward is inviting people. So that has to be the number one negotiable. If you stop asking people to join you, your business will stop moving forward. So show up on social media and have a few conversations that are um in the realm of business building and or relationship building and inviting that that has to remain um that's that's my answer so i guess as an opposite question <clears throat> so you know my weekdays are about to get really busy let's say that i have a couple hours on the weekend what would you say you could save for that couple of hours? Um, planning your social media for the week. I think, I think you probably will have to do that with as busy as yeah. your schedule is about to be. Um, and you can use a scheduling tool. There's free ones like um, Hoot, Hootsuite and uh, what's the other one? I, I looked at Edgar and I'm just not ready to spend that right. yet. Postcron. Postcron. Yep. So there, yeah, Postcron is one. Postcron is a has free options, um, and then I think Hootsuite is another one. H O O T E Hootsuite. If you get to T E, okay. yeah. If you get to the point where you, when you open, when you begin your like page, the like page has a function that allows you to schedule posts on your. Facebook page for however much you want. But until then, I would say for you on your weekends, you're going to want to schedule your challenge group posts for the week. And you're going to want to schedule your social media posts for the week. That way you'll feel like you're showing up. Um, and then the pockets of time that you have, you can be inviting.
adding, connecting, following up, inviting. That can be done in 20 minute pockets. Mm -hmm. Does that help? Mm -hmm. A lot, yes. Okay, good. What else? I find too that sometimes you just have to be just creative with, with some of your social media posts. Um, like today I started work and um, I had all my food for my 11 hours on my counter. And I just thought, oh yeah, I should take a picture of this. And so yes, I could have probably waited and taken um, a longer stretch of words, but I just quickly did something, not only because I didn't have the time, but I think I kind of wanted to say that, okay, I, I really am up early posting this at yes. 15 in the morning. And so, you know, I just, sometimes they just have to be, you know. That's how my right. next days will start to be here soon. Yeah. But Lori, that's a very valuable post because it, and it didn't have to have a lot of words. It was, I planned for my day and I am prepared. So yes. I'm going to win the day and it's early and I'm going. So, yeah, yeah. you know, it's that, um, you know, and I think actually it was a wake up call recently. Like before you post it though, just ask yourself a couple questions, Yeah. you know, putting up another sweaty selfie. I'm very guilty of that. I do that a lot. Like, what else can you say about the sweaty selfie <laughs> that will help somebody uh, connect with that? And instead of saying, great, good for you, you know, go, Jen, you got another workout in, right? I think, so I think I'm actually struggling with that right now is like, I, you know, as I look at this win the week thing, you know, seven fitness and nutrition posts, like, like, I know what works for me but I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert. And so I think there's a big difference between the people I'm talking to and what I'm doing right now. Yeah. So I'm struggling, you know, because I think people have always kind of looked at me as well, like, yeah, you, you go out and run 20 miles, but that's totally different than me struggling to do anything or go for a walk. And right. so, I think I'm finding myself wondering, like, what do I post about fitness that doesn't look like, hey, look at me, I'm doing 20 miles, you know, or, you know, if I feel like it's kind of inauthentic for me to say, like, look, I went for a walk, you know, or, yeah. So how do you bridge that? How do you bridge that gap, I guess? Um, what? What if you talked about like the struggles of getting to running 20 miles? Like I, I try to run on a regular basis, but I mean, I can't run over four miles. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe you could relate to them in that way. Like the struggles of them just, you know, getting and going out for a walk or doing anything should be kind of similar to you building your way up to running 20 miles. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that helps. Yes. <laughs> That was great. That was or great. if you remember where you started, Jamie, and what it was like, you know, I mean, I remember, I mean, I've run marathons, but I can remember the very first time I ran and I was like, I'm going to run to the mailbox and then I'm going to walk, you know, two mailboxes. And like, I can remember that vividly. So just like yeah. putting yourself back in your starting place and sharing that journey, maybe. I thought you had a really good post. Um, I don't remember when it was, but Jamie, you talked about how you used to, you know, run all the time and you posted a picture of yourself from, you know, several years ago and you kind of talked about how you kind of stopped running for a while and right. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a throwback Thursday where yeah. I talked about how I wasn't really healthy at the time. Yeah. So maybe like more posts about that. Yeah. And then, then it's also remembering, like, I probably because I'm a little bit in the same situation with you right now, Jamie, is, uh, you know, not everybody trains for a marathon, and that can be intimidating to a lot of people who don't ever run. But I, I still think, so on one hand, I want to say, um, 
<laughs> you cannot help everybody. You still can help a lot of people, right? Like Heather is a lot, Heather, Heather's a gymnast, right? I can't necessarily relate to a gymnast, but I was able to connect with her and help her, right? So you'll still be able to develop a relationship. And if you put yourself out there in the way that you present yourself, people will, they will look up to you. They, they maybe will do that. They will connect with you at some level and they'll trust you. And so, and if you're real with them, then they'll still want you to help them to be their coach. So, and then the people that are the most like you, they might just be a little easier for you to help. <laughs> I think, I'm, I mean, I know I'm just being too hard on myself. I'm looking at checkboxes thinking like, okay, how do I get seven checkboxes? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's because you're competitive. That's just me. Like, how do I get the check boxes? But, and so then I get stumped, like seven fitness things. Well, I run, I run, I run, I run, I run. But you but, should you know, stretch and you could share some of your yeah, stretches yeah. that you do for right. runners or. So when I thought about that, I just thought like, well, I'm not, I'm not a PT, you know. That's like, okay. Okay. No. I thought, I, this, you know, you can make it into a, kind of like a funny thing because Amy had a great one when you were you were doing a, a workout and you were laughing because you were actually turning for the wrong markers and so to me coming at looking at that I'm going oh this is kind of you know she's doing a good workout a hard one but it was all kind of kind of you know funny in a way which which I know that every once in a while you're supposed to do something you know yeah. not so serious and just you know, do a fun, you know, silly. I don't know, Amy, if it was supposed to be funny or not, but it, oh. it really was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. so Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never want to look like, oh, I'm perfect. And so I'm trying to share, like, I'm not coordinated and I mess up. But like you said, Lori, I'm still getting a good workout yeah. in. Yeah. And people, I haven't done this in a while, but people love pictures when my dogs are like attacking my feet or something when I'm working mm -hmm. out. Like those get a lot of um, likes and stuff too. Or if my kids jump in and do mm -hmm. two squats and then they get bored and run off and do something else. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah, this helps a lot. Yeah, thank you. Lori, Lori had a great video she shared one time with like how much she struggled to get in the side plank or the flip, the pile flip. Like, oh, yeah. She literally showed like not a perfect video of her and that's what people want to see every now and then, you know, not the perfect shot. So yeah. Show, yeah. just share it. And if you can do that, you'll be. That's good. I think I've been worrying too much about perfect. Well, but that's what you need to post about <laughs> not going yeah. for perfect, just progress or, yes. yeah. or to love. <laughs> Love yourself where you are. Like that's a great message to I know, share. I put a lot of that out there, and I've had a lot of people personal message me about it, and it it kind of makes me sad yet empowered at the same time that people have struggled that much. So, so I was just looking for new content and thinking, oh, I must be getting boring. <laughs> No, nope. nope. You just got to share, share you and you got to be willing to put that stuff out there. And, okay. and if you find yourself thinking about stuff all the time, then you're, you're in the right business. Yeah. Right. I mean, because I find myself, oh, that'd be a great post. I'm going to do that <laughs> yeah. a lot. Heidi, do you have any questions? It was really oh, nice. To on. Yeah, I, well, doing team cup right now. And, um, I did, I started a freemium, um, this week, but, um, you know, I just think the biggest thing that I have is I, I actually really appreciated the national wake up call today because it, um, made me realize that some of what I'm doing is okay. Although I had a coach that I signed up and I finally made Emerald, but then she backed out. So that was a big disappointment for me. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've kind of had some highs and lows lately, it seems like, but just trying to, um, keep plugging away and just not give up and realize that if I can continue to add and I started a like page, but 
kind of unsure about that. It needs to read up on it a little bit more because I, um, I don't have a lot of people that have followed me over to that. Um, I actually, I don't know. I'm, I'm just really trying. I think Team Cups got me in a mindset that I really want to hit success club <laughs> this week or this month for sure. And so it's just, you know, keep keeping at it and uh, not getting frustrated. So Heidi, who's, who's Team Cup are you on? Um, so Stephanie Bachman um, is in our group and then Katie Beth. Okay. And, yeah, so we've got some good, good people. Yep. Um, Cindy, I'm not sure of her last name. It's, um, but yeah, so we're, we're trying. We're going to try. Are you guys doing um, a group together? Or are you kind of just focusing on what's your strategy for working together this month? Yeah, so I we don't. I was wondering. This is the first time I've participated in Team okay. Cup, so okay. I'm not exactly sure. You know, that there it, it, we're not doing anything as a real group, like a freemium or anything like that. Okay. Okay. Are you guys doing win the week? Are we what? Are you doing the win the week sheets? Um, no, we haven't been. Do you guys have a Facebook group that you kind of powwow on? No, we've been doing it through um, just Messenger as a group um, to talk with one another. I um, think might be kind of fun to maybe set up a Zoom chat or something so that we can all connect. Because, be the leader. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I definitely need to be. Um, I think it would be great to do something like that. But um, yeah, I think we just need to work on it a little better. And thank God, you know, still can do that. <laughs> Yeah. I, I would highly encourage you guys um, to start doing win the week. It's kind of why we decided to post that in the team's lips page. Cause you know, like your group and there might be another group or two, like you're all new, you know, just mm -hmm. getting into this team cup. And if you guys focus on the behaviors and win the week, those are the things that will allow you to get to success club. And so I think we, I think all of us as coaches, we can get overwhelmed with trying all these things like like pages, what's my social media content, et cetera, et cetera. But personally where I am right now is I'm just trying to focus on one thing and that is inviting because I, I get overwhelmed and I'm getting, I'm trying to do 50 million things and I'm not doing a good job with any of them. And so I'm just trying to get back to the basics and that's inviting and the vital behaviors and that's what that whole win the week sheet is about and so it might that might be a good direction for you guys to go in since you've never done team cup before well thank you just my two cents yes thank you very much appreciate it I said it better myself yep yeah so and and at and be sure to use the team lips page also do you know what i mean if you for those kind of questions, um, and maybe Amy can, was Stephanie kind of the, who formed your team cup group? Stephanie? Or did you, Heidi? You did, Heidi? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Captain, go for it. I know. <laughs> so um, a lot of us set up our own Facebook group where mm -hmm. we, you know, we kind of check in on each other. We, we set personal goals within our team. Um, we'll give a shout out when somebody gets on the, you know, a win or gets on the board. Um, we have someone sharing kind of motivational videos with us. So just sort of just come together with the five of you and agree. I agree. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just focus on something like win the week and, you know, take the, take the leadership role of leading these guys. Um, there is a, um, the oh, there's a page there's a, a team cup yep. page. my brain is shutting down soon <laughs> there's a team cup page that you can go to to look for ideas um there's also the beach body champions facebook page which has all kinds of motivational stuff um what's carl deichler showing up there a lot and sharing stuff so you can do a little bit of you know study back study on how to run a successful team cup lead a team cup and um you know get in your online office and start looking and then just implement some of those things and start you know leading those ladies you can you definitely can do that. yep does that help 
very much. Thank you. But I'm another glad I I'm, I'm glad you jumped on too, Heidi. And another thing that I would say is um, a very easy way to start inviting and increasing the people on your like page is every so often share a post for, for, from your like page to your personal page and say, I just want to make sure you guys know I got this wellness page. Be sure to follow me. So invite people regularly to that page. And even in your Facebook messages, when you're connecting with people, um, maybe the first time you connect with someone and invite them, the first invite you say is, Hey, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I'm on this wellness journey and I have this page. I would love for you to follow me. That's an invite. Yeah. That's an invite. Yeah. Check the box, right? It doesn't have to be an invite to a challenge group. It could be an invite to follow you on Facebook. It could be an invite to a group. It could be an invite to a Super Saturday event. It could be an invite to just follow me, you know, do you have you, you know, whatever your freemium is, can I share this with you? You know, mm -hmm. I don't know if you'd be interested in this free gift I made, but can I share it with you? Like, those are all invites. So great. Keep it simple. All right. Okay. Well, that was good. Anybody else? Anybody else team passion ladies have questions specific to I think last month we kind of went over goals and stuff as everybody, we don't have everybody on, but on court, on par with their goals. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Amy, can you resend me? Did you send me your, um, dime, your dash to diamond downline? Did you send it to me via? We'll go back and look for it. I'll find it. You're muted, so I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Did you tell me where you sent it to me? Um, I, th I think it was on Messenger. Facebook Messenger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Anybody with questions on the replay, post them in the comments and have a good team cup. Thanks, you guys, for joining. This was a great call. Thank you guys for taking the time to hop on. Bye, guys. <laughs>